bag, guys. The BM-59. Cool. <laughs> guys, it's kind of like my M1 Garand and my M14 decided to get together and have this little Italian child called the BM-59. Oh yeah, and it is sweet. Oh my goodness. Chambered in 762 NATO. If it looks like an M1 Grand, but it has a box mag and the caliber of a M14, well, it's kind of Italy's take on the M14 with a couple little Italian modifications. Oh man, this thing is sweet. <laughs> Getting nice and smoky, breaking it in, fresh out of the box from James River, guys. It's uh, just burning off a little bit of that excess oil that it comes shipped in, and it is a beautiful, beautiful rifle. Oh, I love these. Yep, and of course, we've got the extra bayonets and spare mags for it, so whenever you do run out of ammo, well, you can get yourself in a Nice little jab. Isn't that right? Yeah. Another piece of surplus art that I am absolutely in love with. And because of this dedicated style brake right up front, it's a little bit of a comp and a flash hider all built into one. And I guess a little bit of the weight. I mean, it's not exactly a lightweight rifle. It is a battle rifle by design. The recoil on this guy is just negligible. Even though you are shooting 7.62 NATO or 308 through it, I'm shooting some uh, 150 grain uh, Agula 7.62 by 51, and it seems to eat that up just fine. Just make sure it's got standard specs or specs similar to M2 ball, you know. But uh, man, guys, if you're looking for some art in the firearms world, well, Italy's good at art, right? And they're good at firearms. I mean, it's designed or pretty much made by Beretta the BM-59, and it is sweet. Oh my goodness. Take a look at some of the uh, markings right here on the stock back here. I'll try to get the sunlight so it hits it just nice. And guys, what a smooth shooter. Oh man, I'm a huge fan of the M1 action and the M14. And I gotta tell you, having shot both the M1 and the M14 a lot, the BM-59, there's something about it. I don't know if it's maybe that thicker barrel, the little bit heavier end, uh, due to the bipod maybe, that just makes this thing such a smooth and sweet and light recoiling battle rifle. I mean, goodness gracious. Even today's modern battle rifles, like uh, our current giveaway, the FN SCAR, you know, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of cool technology. It's nice and lightweight and everything, and even the recoil is pretty easy to manage and light on it. But there's something about these old school classics, especially with the M1 style action and that beautiful wood stock and grain that it has in it that just makes these such a pleasure to shoot, guys. I don't know, maybe it's being able to add a bayonet to it because bayonets are kind of, you know, kind of a thing in the past, unless you're like me and in the Marines, you still issued a bayonet. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, guys. There's just something about these old school, cool M1s, M14s, BM59s that just get it right. Oh, it's so cool, man. Magazine fed, comes with one 20 round magazine. And of course, like I said, we've got extra mags and bayonets for it as well. So uh, if you've got your own little dummy that you like to stab every now and then, yeah, pick up a bayonet, why not? And uh, I guess, depending on what you consider to be a dummy. Just don't, don't break any laws, okay? Anyway, this thing is just all around cool, guys. What do you say we take it back to the bench? Let's talk a little bit more about the specifics on this guy and uh, what makes this thing so unique. 
What a smooth shooting. 7.62 caliber rifle, guys. The BM-59 that James River has put together here has been one that has been super popular throughout the years with classic firearms, and I'm so happy every time we get the chance to, you know, see a fresh batch of them come in, like we have recently. And when Ben said, Clint, you haven't really done a review on one of these before, why don't you take it to the range and shoot it and let us know what you think? Well, guys, I'll tell you what I think. It's beautiful. It's fun to shoot, smooth to shoot, and I am 100% a fan. This gun right here is just, dare I say everything maybe the M14 should have been. Ooh, that's gonna light up a firestorm, isn't it? Let me know down in your thoughts. Uh, let me know down in the comments your thoughts on that one, guys. But I feel like Italy just took everything uh, from the M1 Garand and made it NATO spec with the 7.62 caliber. They made it so you had a pretty much a uh, grenade launching apparatus firing right up front, even having the grenade sight right up front here. This integrated, I guess you could say flash hider and brake is just amazing. It really cuts down on the recoil a lot. And this gun is also, like I said, it's not the lightest gun in the world, but it's not like extremely heavy by any means. Even with the bayonet out here and the bipod and the uh, <laughs> and the grenade launcher type barrel, this thing is actually like really comfortable to hold and get a good picture on. Like it's just, it's a really well designed gun. Now a lot of you guys are like, well yeah, it's Beretta, so of course it's gonna be a well designed gun, right? And yeah, I tend to agree with you guys. It has the M1 action. It was actually originally made off of US manufactured parts or M1 Garand parts or tooling. Uh, even under the assistance and supervision of American engineers, the Italians had help building these guys with us, the Americans. Pretty cool, right? So they said, yeah, here, pretty much take all of our M1 stuff. We're transitioning over to the M1 Garand anyway, or excuse me, M14 anyway. We don't need all these M1 Garand stuff. So here you go, have at it, knock yourself out. And that's what happened. After the NATO alliance in 1949, uh, everybody was either transitioning to 7.62 NATO or, you know, 5.56 eventually, like later down the road. And that and standardization is what came across the board. And that's where we got 9 mil from and everything else. And so Italy's pretty much pitch into that, or at least, you know, I guess you could say throwing their hat in the ring was with this design. They were really a fan of uh, Garand's design on the Model M1. And so was Patton, and well, everybody loves Patton, right? Well, maybe not everybody. I don't think a lot of the U.S. government did. Anyway, going off on a tangent. Um, uh, they, they, they took the design of the M1 and kind of perfected it, right? It's got a 20-round box-fed magazine right down here. And, of course, we've got extra magazines as well, so if that's something that you need, we've got those for you. Again, the bayonet right here, which very easy how it detaches and attaches. You've got just a clasp right here. You've got the ring that fits right over the barrel. And as that fits over the barrel, you'll see your bayonet lug. And then this slides right onto place and clicks on. And now you're ready to go, you know, stab things or whatever. So pretty cool. All right. The next couple of things about this guy too is also the bipod that it comes standard with and there are different variations of the bm-59 there's paratrooper variations sniper variations or designated marksman whatever you want to call it uh, all sorts of different variations but what we have right here is just the og design of the bm-59 which is really cool and i'll throw up that grenade aperture uh, because it's cool looking right <laughs> so yeah you've got the bipod as well again that m1 action and your standard M1 style, M14 style safety, but these guys also came with a winter trigger. And I'll show you guys exactly where that's located. So you can see here everything. And yes, we are clear, so I'll show you guys exactly how this works. Your winter trigger is this piece of metal right here that, that just folds down. Now this will act as your trigger, which is really cool. So if you're wearing, and think about it, it can get pretty cold in some parts of Europe. And so if you're serving with this rifle here and it's winter time, snow's coming down and you're wearing thick mittens or whatever else it is, and you're just not gonna have great sense of you know precision control or motor skills, having this long piece of metal acting as your trigger now is pretty nice. So all you have to do is sit here and pull back and then let it rip. Pretty sweet, right? And speaking of the uh, trigger on this, guys, 
it's it's nice. It's really nice. If you're if you know an M1 or an M14 style trigger group, uh, it's a real sweet feel. So I'll go ahead and show you guys just exactly how that feels really quick. So right now, of course, we are on fire. The safety mechanism is right here. Pushing back on that. Now on safe. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Now on fire. And let's go ahead and just show off that trigger. And right here, you have a little bit of take up and about five, six, about six pounds there has that break and then the reset oh yeah guys short reset man talk about fast follow-up shots oh yeah beautiful 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 I love it and yes it's easy to get fast follow-up shots on this gun here especially with this again this muzzle device at the end just really keeps this barrel flat shooting so really a great job on this guys also, if you're not familiar with the M14 design uh, or even the M1 whatnot, the M1, of course, had your follower internal built in that was clip fed. You, all you'd have to do is just pull the bolt back and that would lock it to the rear. However, if you don't have an empty mag in, you do have a bolt catch right off to the side. You pull this guy off to the side, it's, uh, it's a little bit of ridged here, so that way you can get a little bit of grip on it. So you do this number, pull that off to the side, locks the bolt back. Cool. And then let it rip. You do have your windage and elevation adjustments right here on the rear sight. Beautiful wood stock on it. And you've got the BM59 marking, PB, Pietro Beretta. I think I said that correctly. <laughs> right back here on the wood stock as well. And then of course, right here, your manufacturer's marking right on top and the rear of the receiver. This one here says 7.62 millimeter BM59 James River Armory, Burgaw, North Carolina. And our friends at James River does such a fantastic job on refinishing and surplus and the BM59s are no exception. These things are just awesome. Beautiful rifles, fun to shoot, great guns and they just did it right. Also to the bipod, I think I mentioned while shooting as well, has these little notches right here little tabs right here for the bipod to line up in so that way it's not just sitting there and scratching up your stock you'll see these little divots here just pull that back and it fits right into place and of course that keeps the bipod from moving around on you which is always a plus very nice slick gun guys again that m1 action is just so nice very smooth shooter chambered in 7.62 nato just can't go wrong with it i guess you can kind of look at this as like the final uh, variation of the m1 grand so again let me know all of your thoughts and comments about everything I've said here today. Whether you completely disagree with me, you want to call me stupid and everything else, or you might say, you know, Clint, maybe you're right about that. And don't get me wrong, I love the M14, but the BM59, this thing is sweet, just saying. All right, also too, Ben has a beautiful write-up on the BM59 and the product ad. So if you're looking for a little bit more specific detail on these BM59s, a little bit more history behind them, check out what he's got written up there. And uh, I remember before I started working at Classic Firearms, one of the first videos I saw of Classic Firearms was Ben out at his range taking some shots with it. And uh, I think I remember him making some sort of comment about you know, he, his old eyes, he can't shoot straight or whatever. And then all of his shots were like stacked on top of each other. And I was like, look at this guy. Okay. Anyway, so check out maybe one of those old videos, check out Ben's write up on the product ad for the BM 59. And of course, if you already have one and you're looking for some more accessories, you need some more mags, we've got them bayonets, we've got them. Or if you're just looking for another one, I do believe I saw somebody in one of their checkout comments there said that, uh, he bought two, one to shoot, one to keep like new and maybe to pass down to generations, which is is pretty cool so check them out again guys the BM 59s and the other battle rifle I want to talk to you about and the one that I mentioned earlier is our current giveaway which is a gold yes gold FN scar it is sweet 762 NATO it's a cool gun and check out Texas plinking's video on our current giveaway that gold scar I don't think you want to miss out on that all right y'all you guys all have a good one stay safe stay clean go wash your hands God bless, and we're going to see y'all next time at ClassicFirearms.com.